Vegeta, what did you say his power level is? It's over 9,000! I was just watching this uh, this interview with Michael B. Jordan where he was talking about how like so much stuff from Creed 3 is just like just shown in battle anime like oh well I lifted this this is like from when Naruto and Sasuke fought at End Valley and then this is from JoJo's and then this is from Full Metal Alchemist you know so the weeaboos like the weeaboos are infiltrating Hollywood in a major way we're now reaching the the time where people who are, you know, reaching their prominence in, in film and in the film industry are people who grew up watching anime. L look at me, I'm having my little indie buzz moment and talking to Tiff and I'm probably like the worst weeaboo that I know. Like I own a love, but like I've had many waifu pillows in my lifetime. Like I'm, I'm in the trenches with it, it's bad. I, I do, uh, back in Vancouver, I do Neat Movie Club and we'll like show movies, like we showed the first Evangelion rebuild in the back of, uh, in the back of a vintage clothing store. We showed uh, five centimeters per second in like a little art space one time. I think I wanna show like, uh, like I really wanna show Liz and the Bluebird in my backyard. Liz and the Bluebird, that movie bangs. You should go see it, ugh. Anime has just really like influenced all the corners of American pop culture and like the Daniels just did that photo shoot with Jennifer Coolidge for W Magazine where it's like a kind of like a common Rider Sentai kind of thing where she's like like a Sentai villain and like really ridiculous loud outfits and stuff. Um, I mean everything everywhere all at once in general was super like super anime to me like a lot of the action and even the like epic random comedy. <laughs> I feel like in Western countries, like, we still very much look at animation through, like, the lens of, like, oh, this is medium for children, like, this is, we can do X, Y, Z within this, and I think it's slowly starting to break, like, obviously we're seeing a more kind of interesting and thoughtful animated movies that are reaching, like, a general audience, like, I haven't seen it yet, but, like, people are going apeshit for the new Puss in Boots movie, which is, like, that's dope, and when I look at that, and when I look at like Spider Verse or something, it's like that kind of tickles the same part of my brain as like, well, I want to go see Pro Mare or I want to see whatever um, Studio Trigger is doing or what Gainax was doing back then, you know. So.